Hi, this is Dan from CATI. SOLIDWORKS 2020 Service Pack 3 is now available. And this is a great time to take a fresh look at doing a full download of the software and installing it from scratch. So I'm on SOLIDWORKS.com here and the easiest way to get the latest version of the software is to log into your customer portal account. So I'll hit the icon in the upper right corner and we'll go to SW Customer Portal. So we'll get signed into the customer portal either with uh, an account that you already have or if you don't have one, uh, you can use your serial number to get signed in. So once you're signed into the customer portal, you're gonna look for downloads and updates. Downloads and updates is where you'll find all of the latest versions of the software. So once we're on downloads and updates, we'll see that SolidWorks does host the current service pack and uh, they'll, they'll usually host all the service packs for that year as well. And we could even roll back a couple years if we wanted to, in this case, back to 2017. So if we're on 2020 and we choose uh, service pack three here, we'll agree to the terms and then we'll choose to download uh, the installation manager. So what just downloaded there is not yet the full version of the software, it's just the installation manager for the software. So if I hit show and folder, we'll just kind of take a look at what that looks like uh, here in Windows. This is simply just a really small self-extracting executable file that if we click it and run it here, it will just extract itself into a folder. So in this case, just my downloads folder and we'll hit unzip. And then once this extracts, this will go ahead and open and run and I'll, I'll pull this over to, to this screen here. So this uh, really small, about 30 megs or so, uh, installation manager is kind of like your doorway to the rest of the software. So the, the option I'm going to choose, the option I said we're going to start with is doing a full download. And I always recommend that. Uh, it, it gives you a really nice clean data set to begin with. You can use this data set on other machines. You can use this data set on the server if you have to upgrade any server products. So it's always great to start with a full download when we're just getting started with, uh, with SOLIDWORKS. So on this first screen, once we've downloaded that executable, we've launched it, you have a few simple options. And the last one is download and share all files. So download and share is, uh, is, is again doing that full download. And I like this a lot because really it only asks you uh, a couple simple questions here. So we'll hit next. It's going to ask you for your SOLIDWORKS serial number so you can input your SOLIDWORKS serial number. This is going to have to be on subscription to be able to download directly from SOLIDWORKS. You can also sign in to your SOLIDWORKS account if you have any numbers assigned to yourself and they'll automatically fill in. We'll hit next here. And the only other thing it's really going to ask us is where to save this, where to save this downloaded set of files. So by default, it's uh, gonna choose your SOLIDWORKS downloads folder. I actually changed it to my desktop. And I, I do this from time to time, uh, just to make sure I know where it's going. And, and again, it's a clean, separate uh, set of files. A lot of times in your SOLIDWORKS downloads folder, there can be kind of a, a mix of other files that have downloaded from previous years. So um, you know, I'll tend to kind of change that and put it in a different location. So this last step, you know, when we hit download now, this will download the full version of the software and it'll take it'll take a little while. Uh, I think in my case, it took 30 or, or 40 minutes or so. And I went ahead and did that step uh, beforehand. So this is what you would end up with. This is the full download. Again, that, that term I keep using of the software. And if we maybe just take a look at how big that folder is, that folder right now is about 15 gigs. So it's quite a lot of uh, quite a lot of files. But what I really like about this now is you have everything you could possibly need for SOLIDWORKS packed into to one folder. So now you can take this file, take this folder, and again, back it up, copy it to another machine, copy it to the server, share it with everybody, and, uh, and, and you'd have it for, for future reference. Okay, so that's step one. Step one is getting that full download done, ending up with this folder, ending up with everything you need right here in one simple spot. And then this would complete and it would give you a, a finish uh, menu. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and on my in my case here, just cancel and close the installation manager because I've already done that. So once you complete the full download, 
uh, once you kind of get to the end here of the full download, what you're looking for again is this complete file, this complete folder set of, of uh, SOLIDWORKS data, and there'll be a setup.exe. And when we run that setup.exe, and if you're doing an install uh, you know, uh, on a new machine, or, or if this is a machine that had previous years on it, it really doesn't matter, there's some basic things to check, like make sure you don't have any antivirus running that could block the install, make sure you have admin rights to the machine, uh, those are kind of some simple things we can start with. This is a message that tends to pop up on most machines. It's basically reminding and warning you to uh, possibly reboot your machine if you haven't rebooted in a while. That's probably something you want to go ahead and do. And uh, Windows will try and and um, uh, and check and see if any other reboots are pending. So uh, I know I just rebooted a little bit ago. I'm going to go ahead and hit OK here and continue with my install. And I currently don't have SOLIDWORKS on this machine. So this is a fresh uh, install, brand new install of SOLIDWORKS on, on basically what is a, a new machine here. So let's, let's take a look. This looks really similar to what we saw before. It's the same menu. We're either doing a full download again, which we've already done that. We could also install some server components uh, like the license manager or some PDM components, depending on what you own. You can also create what's called an admin image. If you want to push this software uh, to multiple machines, if you're an IT team and you want to push this to multiple teams all at once, uh, you can actually do that here as well. However, the top option, install on this computer, is uh, if we're going to just do a basic install on this single machine uh, with this file set that we've already uh, already downloaded. So that's what we're going to go with in this case. So we're going to do install on this computer. I'll hit next. Again, it's going to ask for serial numbers. They're already in my registry from doing the software download before, so I don't need to refill these in. And I've actually had previous years of SOLIDWORKS on this machine. I actually had 2020 SP2. Now we're just doing a, a fresh install of 2020 SP3. So we'll hit next. It will check your serial numbers uh, with what's called entitlement. Basically checking your serial, num uh, serial numbers and seeing what products those numbers are entitled to. And then this next screen um, kind of gets auto filled for you depending on those numbers. So, if, uh, so for example, if we check these products to install list here, and if, if I were to hit change, it's pre-checking all the items that you're entitled to dependent upon what serial numbers you had. So you can make changes there if you want. Maybe if you go through that list and decide, hey, I'm not gonna use electrical, I'm not gonna use composer player, uh, some of these different things, you can turn them off to save space. Uh, if space is not a concern, then, then you can go ahead and let those install. In download options, we'll hit change on download options. This is noticing that I already downloaded all the files. So it's saying install only. I've already have all the uh, installation files needed and it's pointing right to where we downloaded all those files to. Now you could have started with this option initially and chosen download and install and it would download whatever it needed and then went right into the install. However, then you don't have that complete data set or that total data set to work with moving forward. That's why, I, again, I really like starting with that full download. Okay, so that looks uh, that looks good, and I'll go ahead and uh, hit back to summary. And maybe before I do that, I'll mention this one option here, background downloader. I tend to turn this off because it will automatically download the updates as they come out. That's really personal preference. If you want your machines or your users uh, to automatically download updates and, and then you know it'll, it'll present them with the option to install them in the background, that's up to you. I kind of prefer to do that stuff uh, on my schedule, so I, I uh, tend to turn that off. Okay, a couple more options here to check. Uh, we'll check installation location. By default, it's going to C, Program Files, SolidWorks Corp. Now, I'm going to change this. I tend to change this to C program file SOLIDWORKS and then the year just to keep things a little bit uh, cleaner, a little bit nicer on your machine. And again, you can end up with a lot of folders and a lot of files. So I'll, I'll make that C program file SOLIDWORKS 2020. And finally, it's going to ask for a couple options about toolbox and SOLIDWORKS uh, electrical here. So I'm going to choose change on toolbox. And this is really similar to the program files. It's It's either using an existing toolbox or it's going to make a new toolbox or upgrade an existing if it needs to be upgraded. I'm going to have it make a new one and I'm even going to give it a new name. SOLIDWORKS uh, Data 2020 
and I'll even put the service pack on this SP3 because I probably already have one there for 2020 SP2. Not totally necessary, but again, personal preference, just kind of keeping clean file sets. And in this case, I'll know exactly what toolbox is going to this new install of SolidWorks. And this is a perfect example on my machine. Maybe if I prefer not to install electrical, I notice it's asking me about electrical options here. I could go back up to change and then choose in my case to just not install electrical but that's just one example again you see these other options here you see these other items that are being installed it's entirely up to you and, and you can kind of pick and choose what to what to install here so we'll hit back to summary now I should notice that the uh, electrical options have uh, have gone away and we'll hit install now so this will take a while this will probably be anywhere from um, you know, maybe half an hour ish to up to an hour, depending on how much you're installing. So I will check back in with you when this is done. Okay. So SolidWorks 2020 SP3 has finished installing. It's going to complete with this final menu here. Uh, there's a checkbox to show you what's new with SolidWorks 2020. That'll bring up a nice PDF or web document to kind of give you an update uh, on what uh, the new features are. You can also choose at this point to participate in the customer experience improvement program. This is a, an anonymous program where they just uh, send data to SolidWorks about your, your sessions, if you're crashing, performance information, that kind of stuff. Uh, that information does help SolidWorks to improve the software. So you can choose to, to join that or, or not. It's entirely up to you. And you can hit finish on this menu and, and close this menu out. I also, uh, just for the sake of example here, went ahead and launched SolidWorks as well, just so we could double check that and make sure that that launched. I happen to have a network license, so it was able to just connect to my network license manager. And uh, if, if you have a standalone license, you may have to activate this first time. It may be, you know, again, if it's a new install for you or if it's using an existing install of, of 2020, uh, either way, you may have to activate and just uh, refresh the license information on your machine. And uh, that takes just a second and that's automatic. Um, you know, it's, it's also uh, worth noting we still have that install set. We installed directly from this full download. So I still have that. I can still repurpose it on other machines. I can copy this entire folder to the server so other people can, can follow the same steps. It will install faster if it's local to their machine, but it can be run uh, from, uh, from a server drive as well. Okay, so we logged into the customer portal. We downloaded the installation manager. We did a full download, and then we went inside of that full download and ran the executable and chose to install on this machine. So that's a look at doing a fresh install of SolidWorks 2020 SP3. Thank you so much for your time and please let us know if there's anything else we can do for you.